Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having an awesome day. Y'all, let's do another quick and easy sweet treat stocking stuffer. Stay tuned. So for those of you who are watching me right now, welcome. I really do appreciate your being here. I know that you could be watching anyone else or you could be doing a whole bunch of other things, but you are here right now. And that means that you have my thanks and my gratitude. And for those of you who are not subscribers, I hope you like this video enough to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope you like the tips and techniques that we're about to share as we make this awesome little stocking stuffer. We are doing Sweet Treat Stocking Stuffers Week and this little box holds chocolate chip cookies. Now, I have probably eaten just as many chocolate chip cookies as I have put into this box, but this little box is just so stinking cute. And when finished, this box measures three inches tall by two and a half by two and a half. So, we have a nice size box here. It is designed to hold, I have five chocolate chip cookies in here that are two and a half inches in diameter. So that means that if your cookies are about this size, you're able to get them in this sweet little box. And what an awesome little stocking stuffer this makes. You could probably also fit a muffin in here or some other sweet treat that you might want to give. We've got the acetate opening so that when this is removed, you can clearly see that there are some yummy chocolate chip cookies inside just waiting to be eaten. So y'all know what? Let's make it. So I am going to bring in my scoreboard and I'm also going to bring in a piece that measures seven and a half by 11. And on the seven and a half inch side, we're going to score at two and a half and at two and a half. Then we're going to rotate this to the 12 inch side and we're going to score at two and a half, five and a half, eight, and 11. And we're also going to take some of the leftover scrap and we're going to cut out two strips at one inches each. And then we're going to take these two strips and cut them down to three. So we will have two one by three inch strips. And since we have the scoreboard out, let's just go ahead and score these strips. So I'm going to put them in on the one inch side and just score them in half. And now we can put our scoreboard away. So now I am just going to fold and burnish all of my scores. And although we are doing this as a stocking stuffer, y'all know that this isn't any season, any reason, any gender gift. Just change the paper and you have a sweet treat that you can give to anyone. So what we are going to do, guys, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to free up all of our tabs. So I am going to go up to that first score mark and drag straight down on all of these. And I'll rotate it to this side and I'll do the same thing. So I'm going up to my score mark and I'm dragging straight down. And then when I come to this side here, this is my top because I've got my fold over flap. So I'm just going to do an angle cut in and remove that piece. I'll do another angle here and remove this piece. Then I am going to come back to this very first one and do another 
rather deep angle. And then I'm going to reduce this in size. So what you have is going to look like this. And so now that we have this, guys, we want to go ahead and cut our opening for the acetate window. And so what I have, guys, is a piece of chipboard that measures two by two, and we're going to place it on this part of our project where we have cut down those flaps. So you're going to place it wherever you want yours. If you have a die cutter, you can run this through the die cutter. Um, I'm using this technique for those of you who don't have die cutters. This will also give you an opportunity to be able to put windows in your projects. So now that I have it stuck down, I am just going to go around this chipboard with my finger blade and I am going to remove this piece. So now that we have that removed, I have a piece of acetate that measures two and three eighths by two and three eighths. And I am just going to run a very thin bead of glue along the edge and we're going to put this down. So I'll just take it and place it down and then I'll just pat it into place. And now we have a sweet little acetate window on our project. So now we're going to take this and put it together. So this is the front of our box. This will be the first piece that we glue to this piece here in the center. So I am going to take my glue and I am just going to get this matched. And I'll try to get my tops to match. So once I have it like that, I'll lay it down. We're going to go on and we'll go on the inside with that bone folder, get it nice and stuck. And I'll do the same thing over here. And I'll use my bone folder just to go on the inside and get that nice and stuck. So now that we have it like this, we can take this piece and glue it down. So I am going to take my glue on this piece and I will take this piece, I'm going to match it up at the top and by matching it at the top, I mean I'm matching it so that the tops are even. Then I'll place it down and again we'll get it stuck. So let's place our glue on this flap and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to take this, get it matched at the top, lay it down, and now we can get it stuck. And then if you have any overhang, and I see that I have just a little bit of overhang on the back, I'm going to just take my scissors and even that up. So now we have our box and the lid will go in just like that but before I put the lid in, I am going to go ahead and just take these two pieces that I cut at one by three and then scored in the middle. And we're just going to put these down just to kind of cover up where we glued those flaps together just to make it a little bit neater. So I am going to take my one by three inch strip, place it right there and then I'll do the same thing on the other side. So I have my one by three and I'm going to take it, put it down and then I'll go on the inside and get that stuck. And if after you put down these side pieces, if you get any resistance, all you need to do is come back to this edge of your flap and just go in on that angle a little bit more. And I could tell that I was having just a little bit of resistance. So I am simply going just a little deeper on my angle 
And now I can take this, close it, and I have a sweet box. So now we get to fun, do the fun part of bringing in our cookies. And so I'm going to bring in five cookies for this. And I am going to be using just cling wrap for mine because I don't have any more treat bags. But if you have treat bags, that's actually the easiest way to get your cookies to cooperate with being wrapped. So I am just going to take this, get it wrapped, and then I'll take this piece and I'm going to fold it under because these are not going to be in the box long, I promise you, because I'm taking these boxes into Mike and they will not last. So I am going to open these, take my cookies, and like I said, I can get five cookies in this box comfortably. And and they look absolutely wonderful in the box. So I am going to go ahead and close this again. And we are going to do just some very light decorating on the front. I am not going to do too much to this, but what I am going to do is I am going to take a couple of my glue dots and I am going to just place my glue dots on the back of my ribbon. And get those stuck and I'm just going to add a couple of extra glue dots just to make sure it stays and then I'll take my ribbon and I am going to put it right there so then I added just a little brad to the front to dress up my bow and as you can see beautiful little boxes holding chocolate chip cookies doesn't take a whole lot to create a very simple very fun, very easy stocking stuffer. And if you want it, you could actually place a sticker on the top. But because I don't want to interfere with the cuteness of the cookies, I am going to leave that top open. But you guys can see just how fantastic these are and how easy they are to make. So y'all, I hope that you have liked this project. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.